This is my gorgeous 2004 Volvo XC90 Executive, and it's got over 300,000 miles on it. And if you've been following the series and the channel, we've been through a lot with this car. But there's one thing that I haven't done with this car, which I've done with lots of my other previous interesting and quirky cars, and that is spend 24 hours in it. Now, if you watched my last video with the Volvo, I did say in that if it got 1,000 likes, that I would spend 24 hours in this and well I think it got quite a few more than that maybe I should have set my aim a little bit higher but secretly I've always sort of wanted to spend 24 hours in this thing because it's huge and I have a theory that I can do something with this one to make my experience much more comfortable that I've wanted to do before but definitely hadn't had the option to so can you guess what it is yep this is a mattress I'm holding and when I contacted my friends at Emma Sleep, they kindly agreed to sponsor this video, supply me with this gorgeous mattress in order to make my 24 hours in this Volvo XC90 much, much more comfortable. Right, so let's get this into the XC90 then. It shouldn't be too much of a struggle, this being Emma's zero gravity mattress, which is their most breathable and cooling mattress they sell. This mattress instantly adapts to your sleeping position and it absorbs all motion as well. So if you're sleeping with a partner, for example, if they're rolling around and they're quite fidgety at night, you're not gonna feel it on the other side of the bed. It's quite, quite remarkable. Emma offers an amazing 200 night risk-free trial with their mattresses and a 10 year guarantee. Right, to be honest, I think I better take my shoes off to get in here. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is by far going to be the most comfortable 24 hour challenge I've ever done in my life. I'll report back to you later on once I'm out of my clothes and I'm actually ready for bed on how this thing feels, but straight off the bat, it's unbelievably comfortable. You wouldn't know that I'm lying in the back of my Volvo XC90 right now. The best thing though, is that this Boxing Day, you can get yourself 55% off plus an extra exclusive discount with my code, which is now on screen. All the details are below in the description. Thank you so much to Emma for sponsoring this video. The perfect fit, quite literally, is gonna make my 24 hours so much, so much easier. But no bed is complete without bedding, and so I added this to the mattress in the back, and then in the front moved the seats as far back as comfortable so that I could have a separate space there for doing work and other things. Okay, so the time is just after one o'clock on Wednesday the 20th. It's six minutes past one i've got my last bag that i just need to load into the car and this is going to be it once we get in so i've got my work stuff in there i've got my overnight clothes and stuff in there some toiletries camera equipment's all in there the front of the car as you can see is going to sort of be my office slash dining space for the next 24 hours because now that i've added in all of this bedding the back is basically just yeah, fully taken up with the mattress, which does look very cozy. And this is where I'm going to go immediately. So we're going to get in the car now. I think it's seven minutes past one and uh, we'll have 24 hours in here. Well, here goes nothing then. To be honest, I think the only way really to get in is by just jumping up on the side here. I need to take my shoes off because I really don't want to get it messy considering I'm going to be in here for 24 hours. Um, so this is going to be a bit tricky, actually. Where can I put my shoes? Maybe, maybe let's start by getting in the front of the car. This is it, once I close this door. Gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this again. I didn't think I would be doing this again. Right, here we go. I'm closing the door for 24 hours. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What's the time? Okay, it's eight minutes past one o'clock. Uh, so we've got... Oh, it's 13.07 apparently. So 13.07 tomorrow, we can get out of the car. This is going to be interesting because it's like we've got two rooms. Actually, it's quite spacious in the front, given that there's a full bed in the back. It's not bad. Um, I can totally see myself using these chairs to sit and do some work on my laptop. I've got heated seats, so that's nice. Obviously, you can get the engine going and warm everything up in here. It feels pretty spacious in here. And I have to say, these seats are so comfortable that I genuinely can see myself sitting here for hours on hours. I think I'm really keen to get in the back of the car. I think this is going to be interesting to see how we're going to do it. I'm going to put the key on. What's the key for my other car, actually? I'm going to put the key on the dashboard there. Leave them out of the way. Almost. You, you know what? The... The... 
top of this here is quite flat. So I could almost put my dinner on there later. I'm guessing we'll go for a drive through or something similar, but I could definitely see myself putting my dinner on there. And yeah, despite the mattress in the back, you can see we've got quite a lot of room down here. My seat's quite far back, so I can almost fully extend my legs. I think obviously we can use the passenger seat for longer periods of time when we're not driving. So um, yeah, this is it. Okay, I'm gonna try and get in the back of the car and I'm gonna get the pillows out of the way first if we're going to stand a chance of this working and just roll through here like this that's it okay and despite the mattress being in here actually i mean the headlining yeah there's not that much hmm that's the only thing i'm not sure i can sit up fully straight so this will probably just be the main area for sleeping um it's not too bad, it's just it'd be nice if there was a little bit more headroom, but this is such a comfortable place to be. Certainly sleeping in here is not going to be a problem. I might try and do something about this headliner, because if we can get that out of the way, maybe there'll be a bit more room. But I don't think this is going to be too difficult, you know. So it's 10 past one or so now, 23 hours, 57 minutes to go. I've got luckily some editing to do on some other videos. So I'll probably spend a few hours doing that. I just had lunch before I started filming and, and getting in the car. Then I'll probably go and find some dinner. When we get back from dinner, I'll probably watch something. It'll take us to about seven or eight o'clock and then I'll go to sleep. I didn't mean any opportunity to get extra sleep is, is one that I want to take. So we could sleep all the way from sort of eight or 9 p.m. tonight all the way through to eight or 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, I guess. So I'm not too worried about this one, but it is just creeping back to me now how it does drag these challenges it really does drag in the first few hours it's okay and then you realize it's only been two hours and you've got a long way to go heating is finally coming on in here and it's uh, starting to get warmer which is nice i've just tried pinning all the pillows and stuff back this side against the glass and it actually works quite nicely i like having the view of the car in front of me uh it's, it is remarkable how comfortable this is you, you genuinely could you know like actually sleep in here because if i had a major problem at home and i needed somewhere to go for a few days this would be a great option but uh no joking aside it's perfectly perfectly comfortable in here and i think instead of moving to the front now to do a little bit of work i think i'll just stay back here and uh yeah that's uh, warming up really nicely which is great such a big space in here it's so so pleasant to be honest i can't really complain by the way i do also find the sagging headliner extremely annoying i'm thinking maybe i could like just pin it up temporarily just to literally stop it from falling any further and to make it look a little bit better on the face of it but it's just a tricky one really it's something i'd probably get sorted on the car if i knew i was going to keep it but i still ugh, to be honest, haven't quite worked out what to do with this volvo considering that i spent all that money on getting it through the mot it'd be a shame to get rid of it now but it just doesn't drive well enough to use it for anything meaningful if that makes sense i'd probably need to get some new tires all around i'd need to get the engine serviced and you know change all of those components I, it would need another over a thousand pounds spent on it to get it to a point where i'd want to take it on the motorway for example which is frustrating and yeah only at that point would i then start looking at cosmetic things like this you can actually see if you look up here you can actually see all the way down there it's literally just like this foam material at the top uh, which is quite funny but yeah no, i get it it's very very annoying but obviously there's other things i'd want to spend money on first rather than that headlining but you know i get really attached to cars and i love that this is an executive one i love the color of it and all the rest of it and i love the fact it's got such high mileage i want to keep it going one thing i did notice actually the other day when i was driving the car down here to film this video is the odometer stopped working because i thought to myself i've been saying for a long time my 307,000 mile Volvo but why is it not now a 308,000 mile Volvo because I've done you know hundreds of miles in it and then I reset the trip odometer the other day driving here and I realized it's not moving so the odometer is actually stuck I'm pretty sure looking at the MOT records where I took this thing for various MOTs over the past few months 
the mileage has increased each time so it's not like it's been frozen for ages and actually it's on a million miles uh, it seems to have just happened very recently so that's an that's an odd thing uh, so I don't actually know how many miles it's genuinely got on it which is a bit tricky I did also think as I wanted to film a 24 hour video in this car because I wanted to see if I could like literally get a bed in it which I've managed to do I did think well it would take me about 24 hours to drive it to Sweden but although that would have been really fun and probably a lot more interesting than me just sat in the back of the car here it just wouldn't be safe I would love I would love to have done that but again the amount of preparation and money I'd have to spend on the car to get it to that point I don't know do you think I don't know I don't think it's worth it really I want to hear if you're in my shoes what what you do with this car but the problem is I'm a bit of a weirdo I do just get so sentimental and uh, emotionally attached to cars even if they are old tat like this one I think what I might end up doing genuinely is renting a storage barn or something so that I can keep cars like this and like my Audi TT but not necessarily have to tax and insure them to keep them roadworthy but uh, I can store them in a barn somewhere my wife doesn't like that idea very much but I think it's quite a good one <laughs> Okay, well, good evening, everyone. It's now 5.35. I've been um, editing on my laptop for the past few hours, which I have to say, it's one quite handy thing is having edits to do because they take hours and hours and hours. I think it's, it's a little bit early, but I'm kind of bored and itching for things to do now. So I think what I'm going to do is get in the front in a second, uh, get the car switched back on and head to McDonald's for a drive through dinner. This is probably my favourite thing about these 24 hour videos actually is that normally somewhere there's a McDonald's. So uh, that's the plan. I'm a bit worried about running these lights on uh, the battery. So I'm probably going to go in the front now, switch the car on and then we'll uh, get going in a second to the sh to the, to the drive through. All right, here goes it. You know where I've seen this before? on one of those videos that they do in the International Space Station. It's basically the same thing, isn't it? Crawling through little gaps. Although, I suppose they're doing something slightly more important than trying to go and get a McDonald's. Hopefully it starts with all these lights being on for a little while now. Okay, let's go for it. We're on. I absolutely love the instrument cluster on these Volvos and actually other Volvos of this era have the same thing. They're just so minimalistic, I think is the word, isn't it? They're just such a nice and pleasing color as well. It's almost like a very light green, almost bluey green. Just the font and everything is so classy. And the whole design down here with the wood, I really love as well. Such a shame none of this works, but what can you do? You can't have it all should also be a sat nav screen which pops up there but I've never ever seen that because of the whole fiber optic system and this not working properly. Let's hit the memory button and put my seat into my driving position. There we go. Ah, oh, this is such a comfy chair. It's all warmed up now on my bottom as well which is very very nice. Nine minutes. I'm sure the Volvo can manage it can't it? Let's find out anyway. Oh look, London low emission zone. That's what I think of that. Well, I've just realized, actually I'm gonna have to pay for it now, aren't I? This isn't you less compliant, this car. Joke's on me. Where I thought this McDonald's was gonna cost me, I don't know, a tenner, it's actually, you can have 12 pound 50 to that because I've got to pay the you less charge. Craziness. To be fair to the old girl, she drives pretty well apart from the fact that I'm turning it at such an angle to keep it straight that's not ideal but an alignment could probably fix that and the thumpy lumpy squeaky engine she's doing all right it is funny though because despite this and my KN being a similar size you feel 
like you're in a conventional saloon car in this thing. You feel and you sit so much lower down than in that KN or in a Range Rover. Here we are, the famous golden arches. And it doesn't look that busy either, so hopefully we can spare the shame of anyone spotting the mattress in the back of the car. I have to say, I do find drive throughs a bit of a faff, actually. I was just thinking, oh, why don't I go inside? Because that's what I normally do, but I can't, can I? Because I have to stay in the car. I'd much prefer ordering on the screen because you can, you know, select exactly everything you want. Whereas when you're trying to talk to someone on the drive through window, it's not as easy and you end up not getting exactly what you want sometimes. Right, what are we going to have actually? I think I'm going to have the big and cheesy with bacon. That sounds nice. Let's go for that, shall we? Yeah, what can I get for you today? Can I just get the big and cheesy with bacon? Meal by itself? As a meal, please. Right, we went a bit left field today actually. I went for a slightly strange order. I went for the the new burger, which is a cheesy cheese bacon thing. And I got some chicken selects on their own. So, a bit of everything. It's given me so much anxiety that there's just a mattress in the back of the car. I don't know what, the, if anyone asks, me and the wife are just having some, you know, conversations and I've just decided to step away into the car for a few days. That's perfectly normal, isn't it? I'm sure most of you veterans watching this channel will have heard me say this before, but one thing I like to do at a drive through is prep the passenger seat with seat heating for my McDonald's so that I'm gonna drive back and eat it back at home so I can get comfortable and whatever. So if I pop it on the heated seat, that should keep it nice and toasty on the 10 minute journey or so that I've got. We did it. Nobody asked me about my mattress. Let's pop that down there and pop that on there. Keep it nice and warm. Happy days. Let's give it the beans. Oh yeah. What a car. <laughs> everyone so I finished my lovely dinner and uh, watched a few programs in the front of the car and uh, just decided to come back here get a little bit more comfortable and just carry on chilling out to be honest <laughs> I feel extremely relaxed and uh, you know pretty tired considering it's only 8 30 which is slightly before my normal bedtime although not all that much normally I leave this to your imagination but I have seen people ask on these 24 hours challenges about what I do about the toilet. And to be fair to you, it is a valid question because 24 hours is a long time to go without the toilet. So ignoring the dog for a second, I have two rules when I do these 24 hour challenges. Number one is no coffee. So I've not drunk any coffee today because I do drink coffee quite regularly and that does make me need to go for a wee and no curries the night before because we don't want to be doing any of that on one of these 24 hour challenges because that would be something quite impossible on going for a wee although it's quite fiddly and uncomfortable it's perfectly fine i've got a big uh, bottle of well an empty an empty bottle um which is fine for this 24 hours i'm not going to show you it for obvious reasons because that's just disgusting you can leave the rest of it to your imagination but basically it's a bottle and for the other thing we don't think about that because that's not a possibility. If push came to shove, obviously, and I had to, I would get out of the car. I wouldn't just soil myself and ruin this lovely mattress. But um, so far, so good. We've never had to do that. So yeah, um, to be honest with you, this is just, I know I've said it a few times, but this is really nice. I can feel it already getting a little bit colder in here though. So I'm not quite sure how we're going to combat that. I did bring my pyjamas, but they're even thinner than what I'm wearing now. So I actually think I'm just going to stay in what I'm in now, maybe put on an extra layer before I uh, try and go to sleep. Cause that's the last thing I want is once I'm asleep to wake up because it's cold. Gosh, this headlining is annoying, isn't it? I just spent the last 10 minutes trying to tuck it in under this lighting fixture, but it just, it won't stay. Let's have another go. 
stuck it right in there. No, it just comes straight out. He's annoying. Go away. So as I'm a bit sleepy and it's relatively close to bedtime, I think I'm going to say good night. Um, I need to now actually make sure that I'm safe. So I need to find what I've done with the car key. I've locked the car and there we go. Switch the main light switch off there. Prop the pillow up like so. Make sure my water is where I can find it. And uh, I'll put the key in this storage compartment here, which is really, like I say, very handy to have that. Very handy, actually. Lovely stuff. Well, I'm going to switch this off and say good night. Morning, everyone. I've just had to put the torch on because for some reason I can't get these on at all. I guess maybe the battery's gone dead for some reason. It is five minutes to seven and uh, we haven't passed away in the night, which is nice. It's always a bonus, isn't it, when you wake up. Um, things have just started to liven up a little bit. I just woke up because there was a moped racing around, so I think people are off uh, on their morning commutes and also Heathrow Airport is a few miles from here and you can hear the planes have started taking off so it's always quite noisy when that happens. Um, I actually slept, uh, I have slept pretty much through the night. I woke up at about 11pm um, probably because I went to sleep quite early. I was probably asleep by nine, if not maybe a little bit after nine o'clock. And then I slept pretty much all the way through. I woke up again at two in the morning, uh, but I was absolutely zonked. So I didn't really feel like putting a camera on. And uh, uh, yeah, now it's about five to seven or about seven o'clock and it's still pitch black, but it should be getting light relatively soon. Um, it's stayed, it's, stayed warm i've not got cold overnight it's actually quite cold in here now but i think i've been sleeping so it's been okay i think what i'm gonna do is maybe i should just go back to sleep there's nothing else to do really is there you know what? i've just realized actually i was just thinking now that i'll go to mcdonald's again because it's very convenient it's very close and there's a drive through i'll go to mcdonald's again and get a coffee uh, a bit later and uh, like one of those breakfast muffins they do but then I remembered I'd have to pay another £12.50 to Sadiq Khan if I do that. So maybe I won't. It's crazy, isn't it? Because it's not it's not a 24-hour period, the £12.50. It's per day. So because I went last night to McDonald's at, what time was that? 6 o'clock or something like that? That's one day. And then if I went now at 7 o'clock the next morning, you have to pay another £12.50. Bloody hell. What a nightmare. I'm so glad I don't live here. It's uh, awful. Cool. Well, I'm alive. I'm here. If you're still watching, thank you so much. I appreciate... Uh, I don't know. I, well, if you're still watching, why? I'm just going to chill here for a bit and... Uh, we'll catch up in a bit. And it gets a bit easier to start filming and stuff when the, when the sun comes out. Although, I doubt it will today anyway. So, yeah. Right. Well, lovely stuff. I'm glad to see you again this morning. Thanks for sticking around. And uh, we'll catch up in a bit. Right, well, I managed to sleep for a little while longer. And it's now uh, 9, 12 in the morning. So we've killed a good amount of time there. And uh, it's a bit chilly. I've put this fleece on, which is doing a good job, but it's still a little bit cold. So um, I'm gonna start the engine now. Hopefully it starts actually, let's just see. Hey, hey. happy days. So we'll get some heating going in here and uh, just gonna wake up a little bit, brush my teeth, and uh, then make a plan for the next few hours or so. Well, 
good afternoon everyone it's now midday just gone 1201 and that means we've got only just over an hour to go uh until i can get out of this car i'm getting a little bit restless now um obviously i've mentioned a few times having the bed in the back is uh, has been incredible because normally in a car you can't ever like fully lie flat it's not wide enough and there's, there's no way of doing it uh, and you know even in the 7 series the seats were sort of arced even um but this was more or less like sleeping on a conventional bed so i can't really complain but then now just spending a few hours in the front of the car being able to stretch out in different ways has been really good too so to be honest although i'm feeling a little bit restless it's a lot less so than it has been in, in previous 24-hour challenges well that's not to say i'm not looking forward to getting out of this car uh hopefully very shortly what we got an hour and five minutes so i had a really exciting breakfast which was apple i decided not to drive anywhere because um well i'm being tight really i don't want to give sadiq khan another 12 pounds 50 but that's why i've decided to just uh, have an apple and wait it out because as soon as one o'clock comes around, I'm going to jump in my KN actually and go and get something in that. So uh, not as exciting for you guys, I know, but uh, I'm sure you can appreciate why I've decided to do that. I appreciate this probably hasn't been the most exciting of videos, but I wanted to do something a little bit quirky anyway around this time of year. is not a Christmas special, so to speak, but just something a little bit different where you come along with me and spend 24 hours in a car with me gosh that sounds awful why would anyone want to do that but if you are watching still now thank you well everyone this is it it is now one or it was 105 when i put the phone there and we have to wait till 107 but i think by the time we've got shoes on it'll be 107 gosh it's got really steamed up in here it's it's really it's really windy and wet outside this afternoon so um it's not you know almost almost kind of want to stay in the car to be honest it's not really the best weather to get out of but yeah finally we can say goodbye to the inside of this car <laughs> it's really weird it's actually really strange when you get out after 24 hours because it's sort of become your reality after that period of time you don't really know any different uh, but it's going to be nice to get the fresh air and yes yeah, so it is now 107 and uh, we can get out of the car okay so first things first, uh, let's put the shoes on. Ah. Oh, it feels weird actually putting shoes on. Let's just make sure we've got the key here. Get rid of all of this McDonald's rubbish from last night as well. That'd be nice. Ready? <laughs> we've done it again. Oh my goodness. Solid ground. There it is. Wow. Wow, gosh, I bet I look like an absolute mess. Oh, this feels really weird. <laughs> Here we go. There she is. Gosh, she's so filthy. I'm really sorry about that. Poor girl. She survived the night. We survived the night in the XC90. 24 hours since we got in. This is amazing. And there she is. That has been, to be honest, the easiest 24 hour challenge I've had to do. Um, it was pretty painless with this in the back and uh, just having so much space to, you know, to have that and also an area in the front that we can use as a office. Although to be honest, I ended up just staying in the back for most of it. Oh, wow. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I wanted to do something a little bit more quirky coming up to this time of year. I always like to do something a bit silly and the Volvo just was the perfect car to do this in. I always enjoy these challenges. They are fun. And this has probably been one of my favorites, to be honest. So I hope you have enjoyed watching along. There will be some more content coming with this Volvo soon. I haven't quite worked out what I'm going to do with it yet, whether I sell it or just store it somewhere. And my newly acquired KN, there'll be lots of videos coming with that in good time. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you again very, very soon.